Hello, this is Waymark Classroom and my name is Mrs. Geetle. Today we're going to be practicing the effect of transactions on the accounting equation. So you can turn with me now to page 37 in your workbook and we'll begin with exercise 2. Exercise number 2, number 1. Your, the first transaction reads, T. Tula deposited 15,000 Rand into his current bank account. Um, for his business as a capital contribution. So the two accounts that are affected by this transaction are bank and capital. Bank is an asset, so it increases and it increases because money is being paid into the bank account. And capital, which is an owner's equity account, also increases because the owner is making a capital contribution. So what would we say? Assets has been increased by how much? 50,000 Rand. And we said that the owner's equity account, because capital is the owner's equity account, also increases by 50,000 Rand. The next transaction. Purchase garden tools from Mew Traders for 2,400 Rand. Right. The two, trans the two accounts that are affected by this transaction are garden tools, which we can say is equipment, and from Mew Traders, and, and they paid cash. All right. So we assume they paid cash because we are in grade 8. So the first account that will be affected is bank because the money had to come from the bank account. We know that the bank is an asset. And what is happening to the, to the bank account when we pay for something? It decreases. Right. The next account is going to be, we said equipment. And equipment is also an asset. What happens to this asset? We are gaining something, so it increases. So we're basically swapping one asset for another asset. So what will happen in our AOL? We will increase, well, first of all, the bank decreases by 50,000, by 2,400 Rand, sorry. And what happens? The other asset increases by 2,400 Rand. So what happens, you'll see here, that the overall effect is, is zero because we um, we paid money out, so just two for, but we gained another asset. So the overall effect is actually a zero. There was no change in the accounting equation. On the third, we read paid cost of trading license to municipality, 475 Rand. Here again, once again, it's a cash transaction, so it's bank, which is an asset, decreases and trading license that's the other account is an expense account and that decreases owner's equity remember an expense always decreases owner's equity so we're going to say what happened to bank the bank decreased because we had to pay for the license 475 what happens to owner's equity when there's an expense it also de decreases by 475 rand Right, transaction number four, <clears throat> paid for stationary purchase, 120 Rand. You assume that it's bank, so what happened to the bank? It's an asset, it decreased because we paid for something. Stationary is an expense, and expense always decreases owner's equity. So um, you had to pay for, pay for something, so the bank is an asset, asset decreases by 120 Rand. And what happens to owner's equity? It also decreases by 120 Rand. Transaction number five. Purchased vehicle from Budget Motors for 32,500 Rand. The two accounts that are affected, we, we know that it's a, a cash transaction. So the first transaction, the first account is bank and they bought a vehicle. So the second transaction, so the second account is vehicles. So both we can see are assets. But what's happening with the one asset, when we pay for something, it's been minusing, it's negative 32,500 minus 32,500. But vehicles is also an asset. So what did we do? We increased our assets by 32,500. What is the overall effect on the accounting transaction, accounting equation there? Zero, because the one basically cancels out the other. Transaction number six. Pay telephone account, 165. There you go. The bank is an asset. It decreases once again. Telephone is an expense. 
what do we say about an, ex, um, an expense? It always decreases owner's equity. So the bank was de decreased by 165 Rand. And owner's equity was also decreased by 165 Rand. Right. Transaction number seven. Cash received for services rendered, 3,270. 3, right. Now we've got an income. Income as an expense always decreases owner's equity so an income always increases owner's equity so that's why we always got to try and make as much sales as we can so it'd be increasing our owner's equity all the time and we've got to try and keep our expenses lower and our income higher so that we make a bigger profit right so let's have a look cash received for services rendered then you've got our two accounts of bank because we're going to put the money in the bank and the other account is called current income and current income affects owner's equity positively because that's money coming in. So the bank will be increased by 3,270 Rand and owner's equity too will be increased by 3,270 Rand. Right, transaction number eight. Purchase office equipment from Rowan Traders for 4,800 Rand. The two accounts affected here, once again, bank because it's a cash transaction and office equipment. All right. So the bank is an asset. It decreases because we're paying for something. Equipment is also an asset and it increases. All right. So what, what it would be going to say here? Assets increase by how much? Oh, well, first of all, decrease because we're paying by the bank, but through the bank, 4,800 Rand. And the asset then also, the other... Um, the equipment increases 4,800 Rand. So the overall effect is zero. Because as you can see, we've, we've, we've swapped one asset for another asset. Right, now let's go to the number nine. Paid municipality 465 Rand for water and electricity. The two accounts affected are bank because we're making a payment and the second one will be water and electricity. Water and electricity is an expense. And what do we know about expenses? It decreases owner's equity. Right, so the bank is an asset, it decreases because we're paying for something by 465 Rand. And what effect does an expense have on owner's equity? It decreases owner's equity, 465 Rand. All right, paid wages, 1,050. The two accounts, once again, is bank and wages. Bank is an asset which decreases, so we're going to decrease bank, uh, the, the assets by 1,050. And we're going to, it's an expense, so the owner's equity account also decreases by 1,050 Rand. Transaction number 11, cash received for services rendered, 2,450. Cash received means that's an income, right? So that where we're going to put the money in the bank. So the bank is an asset, it increases, current income is an income, and it increases owner's equity. So here we go. We're going to increase the bank by 2,450. And what effect does that transaction have on owner's equity? It increases owner's equity by 2,450 Rand. There you go. We have done exercise two. Now we can do exercise number three. We are now on exercise three, page eight, 37 of your grade eight accounting workbook. Transaction number one is H. Pulsar deposited 38,000 Rand as his capital contribution into the current bank account of the business. Bank is an asset and that is increased by 38,000 Rand because that's where the money is going to go to. Remember, just put your plus sign. It increases. And the other account is capital. Capital is an owner's equity account, and a cap capital always it will increase owner's equity if money is put into the capital account. All right, and we're looking at thirty-eight thousand rand. On the second, four hundred um, paid four hundred eighty rand to the municipality for trading license. The two accounts affected are bank and trading license. The as a bank is an asset, and that decreases because we're paying money from the bank account, 480 Rand, and trading license is an expense, 
and that will always an expense always decreases owner's equity 480 rand the next transaction number three rented part of a building from Christo properties paid 830 rand bank is an asset it decreases by 830 rand rent expense is an expense and that an expense always decreases owner's equity right so the 830 rand purchased a motor vehicle a vehicle 20,200 and a motorcycle 4,800 rand from total motors it's a cash transaction so the bank it is an asset it decreases vehicle is an asset which increases all right so bank we've paid 26,000 rand from the bank account so it decreases and what happens to the other asset the other asset increases by 26,000 rand what is the overall effect of the asset account there zero because you've swapped one asset for the other asset right exercise number three continued exercise number five I mean transaction number five purchase cleaning material from Viva stores for 350 rand bank is the one transaction which is asset it decreases material cost is an expense and what do we know about an expense it always decreases owners equity and this is by 350 rand on the sixth the sixth um, transaction paid 7200 rand to busman wholesalers for equipment purchased the two accounts will be bank and the other one will be equipment those are two asset accounts right as the one asset decreases and the other one increases the one that's decreasing is bank and the other one that's increasing is equipment by the same amount of 7200 rand all right and what is the overall effect of effect is zero because we are swapping one asset for another asset on the seventh this the purchase stationery from Jolie traders paid 130 rand so it's bank and stationery bank is an asset and what happens to the asset is decreasing by 130 rand because we're paying for something and the other the other account is stationary which is an expense and expense always has a negative effect on owner's equity so it's minus 130. The, num number eight ca receive cash received for services rendered services rendered is an income for the business and we call that current income so the two accounts will be and where will the income go to into the bank account so the bank account is an asset so that asset increases by 2150 and an income always increases owner's equity so there you can see that's increased number nine made payment 265 rand to municipality for water and electricity the money is paid from the bank account so the bank account is decreasing by 265 rand and what do we know now about expenses they always decrease owners equity right on the 10th or the 10th transaction cash received from ser for services rendered 3430 what do we know about services rendered that's an income for the business a current income and where do we put the money in the bank so the bank account is an asset it's increasing and what effect does income have on owner's equity it increases owner's equity 3430 rand next transaction on the 11th or the 11th transaction paid wages 760 rand paid wages where from the bank the bank is an asset and it decreases wages is an expense how does an expense affect the owner's equity it decreases owner's equity so it'll be minus 760 rand exercise number four on the first paid p dave but mr p dave started a business serenba services with capital contribution of 30,000 rand deposited into the firm's current account right so when an owner gives the business money as a capital contribution he's actually lending the money to the business right so it's not his his account it's the business's bank account so he would have taken the money from his business account his bank his personal bank account and transferred it to the business's bank account so the first the two the two accounts that are affected are bank and capital bank is an asset which increases by how much 30,000 rand don't forget your your sign and 
it's a capital contribution, so when you do that, what's happening to owner's equity, it also increases by 30,000 rand. Purchased equipment from Elweni stores for 12,000 rand. The two counts are bank and equipment. Both of them are assets. So bank will decrease, sorry, decrease by 500 rand. Sorry about that. No, 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 no. Sorry, let's go back. I'm, I'm on the wrong account, sorry. On the second, purchase equipment from Mwini stores for 12,000 rand. So they're both, they're both assets. Um, the bank is going to decrease by 12,000 rand. And the, the other asset, which is equipment, is going to increase by 12,000 rand. You got it right. So what is the overall effect? Zero, because the one cancels out the other. Paid municipality for trading license, 500 rand. The two accounts affected are bank and the other one is trading license. Bank is an asset and we're going to decrease the asset by 500 rand because we're paying money out and an expense always has a negative effect on owner's equity. So that will also be minus 500 rand. On the fourth, paid rent to Brad Properties, 1,200 rand. Paid rent. All right, so the, the one account is bank, which is your asset, will decrease by how much? 1,200 rand and an expense always decreases owner's equity 1,200 rand there you go we're going to oh, now number um, exercise and it's on the on the, the fifth transaction cash receipt for services rendered Services rendered is an income where we're going to put the money in the bank. The bank is an asset, so we're going to increase bank by 2,900 Rand. And what does is what is an, is an income do to owner's equity? It increases owner's equity. That's right, 2,900 Rand. Okay, turn with me now to exercise number five on page 38. On the, the first transaction, P. Paula paid 30,000 Rand into current bank account for off services as his capital contribution the, the two accounts affected are capital and bank bank is an asset which is increases and the capital which is only owner, owners equity account also increases so the bank increases because the money is being paid into the bank account 30,000 Rand and we know that capital increases owners equity right on the second received 750 Rand for rent Bank is the one account which increases by 750. The other account is rent income, which is an income, and an income always positively affects the owner's equity account. Moving along, on exercise five continued. On the third, paid wages 400 Rand. The two accounts affected are bank and wages. Bank is an asset which decreases, wages is an expense, and an expense always decreases owner's equity right next transaction on the fourth purchased equipment from Savanti stores 10,000 Rand the two accounts are bank and equipment both are assets one asset is decreasing which is bank and the other asset increases by to the value of 10,000 Rand right cash services rendered for services rendered for cash on the fifth 1,700 Rand. The two accounts are bank, which is an asset, and it will increase. The other account is current income, which is an income, which also, and the, the, that account affects the owner's equity positively because it's money coming into the business, 1,700 Rand. Pardon? Just checking my timer. All right, let's go along. Um, on the sixth, uh, paid rent of building by check, uh, paid rent of a building by check, 800 Rand. Right, the two accounts affected are bank and, and rent expense. Bank is an asset. What is happening to the asset? We're paying something out. It decreases by 800 Rand. The other account is rent expense, and an expense always decreases owner's equity. There you go. Exercise number six. On the first, K Klopper's capital contribution was 35,000 Rand. 
paid into current bank account of the business, right? So the two accounts affected are bank and capital. The bank is going to be increased because the money is being paid into the bank and capital contribution will always increase when capital is paid when capital is paid and it will always increase owner's equity. Right, on the second, purchase equipment from Fenter stores, 15,000 Rand. Um, the two accounts affected are bank and equipment. Both are assets. The one asset is being decreased, which is bank. And the other asset is being increased to the value of 15,000 Rand. On the third, purchase a vehicle from OB Motor Stores for 25,000 Rand. Once again, there's two assets, one's bank and one is um, vehicles. One is being decreased because we're paying for it, so the bank is being decreased. And the other asset is being increased to the value of 25,000 Rand, and that is vehicles. So that's the effect on, so it doesn't have an effect on owner's equity because it, the one um, cancels out the other. Paid Fenter stores 10,000 Rand for stock, which is called trading inventory. The two accounts affected are bank and trading inventory. Both of them are assets. The one asset will decrease because we're paying for it from the bank, and the other, in, the other one will increase to the value of the same because we have got stock to that value. Let's turn to our last exercise on the effect of, the trans, of, of transactions on accounting equation. We are now on exercise number seven, page 39. The first transaction says JJ Depp deposited his capital contribution of 40,000 Rand into the current bank account. The two accounts are bank and capital. Bank is an asset which increases by 40,000 Rand. And what happens to owner's equity account when the capital is increased? It also increases by 40,000 Rand. Purchase a vehicle from CJ Motors for 30,000 Rand. The two accounts affected are bank and vehicles. They are both assets. One is decreasing and the other one's increasing. So bank decreases by 30,000 Rand because we have to pay for it. And the other, in, uh, the other asset increases to the value of 30,000 Rand. Right. Purchase equipment from Yarpi stores, 8,000 Rand. It's by cash, so we always, it always affects bank. Bank is being decreased because we're paying for something from bank. And the other account, which is also an asset, increases by 8,000 Rand. So we've got to increase asset by 8,000 Rand. Overall effect is zero because the one cancels out the other. On the fourth, paid rent, 2,000 Rand. The two accounts, um, our bank and rent expense. Bank is an asset, it decreases because we're paying rent. Rent expense is an expense to the business and expense always decreases owner's equity. So bank is an asset, it'll decrease by 2,000 Rand. An expense will decrease owner's equity by 2,000 Rand. And so we go now to the fifth. Bought stock 5,000 Rand. Stock is called trading inventory. So the two accounts affected are bank and trading inventory. Both of them are assets. One is being decreased, the other one's being increased, right? We're paying for something, so bank is decreased and trading inventory will increase. So we say minus 5,000 Rand for the one asset, which is bank, and increase the other asset by the same value of 5,000 Rand. Next one. On the sixth, paid water and electricity, 300 Rand. Where do we pay from? We pay from the bank, which is an asset which decreases. So the bank decreases by 300 Rand. What are we paying for? An expense, and an expense always decreases owner's equity. Same value, 300 Rand. Received on the seventh, 5,000 Rand received for services rendered. Services rendered is a current income, an income always increases owner's equity. Right, where are we going to put the money? Into the bank account. The bank account is an asset, and so the asset is going to, pardon me, the asset is going to increase. The other account is current income, which is an income, and how does that affect 
earner's equity, sorry, it will increase earner's equity. So let's um, earner's equity. Right, so bank is an income. Uh, sorry, services rendered, the money will go into the bank account. That will be increased by 5,000 Rand. And because it's an income, its effect on owner's equity is also 5,000 Rand. On the 8th, J. Depp increased his capital contribution 45,000 Rand. The two accounts are bank. Oh, sorry, bank and capital bank is an asset what happens when money comes into the bank it will increase increase right and then capital is an owner's equity account and what happens to owner's equity account when there's an okay it will increase when money is paid in so there we go. Bank is will increase by forty-five thousand rand, and owner's equity will also increase by the same value, forty-five thousand rand. The last one, the, on the ninth, paid for fuel three hundred and fifty rand. Two accounts affected are bank. Woo, always make that mistake. Bank and fuel. Bank is an asset. Fuel is an expense, but what's happening to the asset? We're paying for something, so it will decrease. Fuel is an expense, and what happens to owner's equity? It will always decrease with an expense, right? So the first one is bank will decrease. The asset will decrease by 350 Rand, and fuel is an expense, and that will always decrease owner's equity. I hope that you know that you now understand the effect of trans cash transactions on the accounting equation. And um, if you need to review any, you can go back onto the exercises onto the videos, and you can check each trans um, each exercise out. And if you have any queries, you could actually leave me a message underneath. Thank you so much.